Hi guys, so welcome back to another video. Um, as you see from my Instagram, my radiator blew up whilst I was on the motorway the other day. So I've removed the intercooler because I need to remove that. Remove your throttle body um, intercooler pipe, so the one I supply the throttle body off the plenum. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I've got a new a second hand AirTech radiator. RS spec one to put on, so thanks to Mark Weeks for that. So yeah, and thanks to Cody as well who gave me an ST replacement one in short notice. So I will be swapping these over today. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna take off. I'll show you the bolts we need to take out. Uh, so there's uh, one. One bolt here, if it focuses, one there, and one just here. That's on both sides. Um, and then you need to try and get the AC condenser off, which is just some clips on here. And make sure you take off your um, coolant pipe. So you've got one here, which is this one. And then one on, oh yeah, this side, up here. So it's a slightly different fitment for the new one I've got but apparently the normal pipes fit. So I'm just gonna times up me taking this off and I'll let you know if I've come into any little niggles. So yeah, it's times up this now. Make sure you've got the radiator jacked up as well. And you need to remove, there's some AC condenser clips. So I don't know how to show you. If you can see down here, there's a little brackets that hold these in. Just get a screwdriver and pry them up and pull the AC condenser out both sides. I think there's four clips, four bolts, four clips. Get that off and you should be able to pull the radiator out. The AC condenser stays on the car. You just pull the radiator out and then take the fans off. So I shall resume once that's out. Also guys, there is a plug for the fans here and one more coolant pipe here, which I missed out, but that's what's keeping it hanging on right now. The other side's nice and down and flat. So just this pipe and this fan plug here. This is the old fan, uh, so you just want to take this off. I think there's some screws or something. Alright guys, you want to take your rad off the support bracket and down here, you 
there's these little clips and this little bracket here. You just want to push this tab in there with a screwdriver and then lift this up there, lift the whole thing out. So let me get the let me get the new radiator and then show you how to put all this back onto the new radiator and so on. Also, make sure you get your rubber grommets off the bottom of the either the support bracket or the radiator, they might get stuck. So these. And they need to go back in the support bracket to line up the new cooler. Radiator, sorry. Alright guys, so I've got the new radiator here if you can see and I've put the grommets back into the bracket I'm just gonna put the radiator in there and go back on Doesn't seem to be any supporting bracket for that, but shouldn't come too loose. I'm going to put a screw in there, just to make sure that's secure. And I'm going to find maybe something liberal, like a little clamp to put that in straight. So once I've done that, I'll come back. Alright guys, now what we're going to do is just reverse of what i just done. So, put the AC condenser back on. Uh, you might need to find a little bracket for it actually. Yeah, it seems like it. I'll try and sort something out, but AC condenser on. Bolt this back up and you should be good to go. That's on. I'm going to find something to keep these in place, so let me go work out what to use on that and then I'll put the intercooler on and show you everything I've done. Right, so I managed to source the brackets for the radiator, you just forgot to uh, give them to me so I went back and got them, so they're all on now, everywhere. Uh, all I'm now going to do is just do up these bolts um, and then we're going to place the intercooler on. So make sure you put your intercooler brackets on if you've got an aftermarket one like me, uh, that's just holding that up basically but yeah so we should put on the bolts and intercooler uh, make sure as well you've got all your coolant pipes on so this one your fans linked up and it just screws back on to there so you just squeeze it back into there and then this goes at the top of the radiator there I'm gonna put a new hose clamp on there because this one's a bit broken so yeah, so just make sure you've got all your coolant pipes on, fans linked up, and this one as well. And the standard pipes will fit the RS spec, uh, if you can see down there. Will fit the 
the RS spec ones. So I should set up the camera and then get the intercooler and throttle body and all that back in place. All right, guys. So I've got the intercooler on. I'm literally just filling it up with some water just to see if it's leaking anywhere. So I can hear the water going in. So far, so good. Don't hear any leaks. I just got to do the intercooler up, obviously. But yeah, I'll let that sit for a second. And obviously then I'll drain it and put normal coolant in. So, yeah, let me just finish off, put the bumper back on and then test it and then we'll fill up the coolant. Alright. Right guys, so everything back on the car. All the clips are in. Coolant pipes are all in place. So I'm going to turn it on and see if it leaks. So it doesn't seem like it's leaking at all. So what I'll do is fill up the rest of the coolant, let it run for a bit, and let it go all around the pipes. And then, yeah, take it out and see what happens. So I shall catch you back in a sec. All right guys, so I'm currently in the car. I'm just gonna take it out for a quick spin, and then hopefully it doesn't blow up on me. So I would love to get an onboard drive in. Actually, no, I will set up my camera so you can do an onboard drive. <laughs> Give me two seconds.
first gear is a bit iffy, but I think the first gear was, unless you're like Sam on all-wheel drive. That's going to end the video there. Um, sorry, I didn't show too much about the radio. It's actually kind of hard because I had to film in two days because I had to go back to Essex to get the brackets. But um, yeah, I mean, so far so good. It hasn't popped or overheated. But I think you, um, the more the benefits of it are actually on track. Um, I remember Sam saying that his ST1 like blew up pretty much on track, but it didn't last that long. So these should be a little bit better. Um, I've got more videos coming, the wide edge kit should come soon, the rear axle should be coming, so yeah. So if you did like the video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and I shall see you in the next one.